Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to create another form, but this one's going to be focused on the clients where I can keep track of a running outstanding balance for the various transactions that they've occurred. So, here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a form, but I'm going to create it using the form wizard. So I'll start up the form wizard, and I'm going to grab both fields from my clients table. Then I'm going to jump over and I'm going to go to my transactions table and I'm going to grab transaction date, transaction hours. From the employees table I'll grab, let's see, I'll do employee ID and employee wage. Then I'll click next and by choosing those fields access knows that I want to do a subform here so yes my main form is going to be the client ID and the client name my subform is going to have the fields from those other tables um, so I'll go ahead and just click next keep it at the default data sheet layout next that's fine transaction subform is going to be the name of my subform clients will be the name of my main form and let's open the form to view or enter information. Let's see how that looks. So here it is, and it's actually kind of truncated quite a bit for us, so I'm gonna jump over to design view, and I'll just put my cursor over here to the right, give myself a little bit more room to work. If I click on this subform, I get sizing handles, I can drag that out. If I jump back over to form view, we start to see a little bit more information, so let me just, these don't need to be quite so big but we do have some critical information in here so now if I'm on a particular client and I've only got four clients but if I go to a particular client I see a history basically of the dates of their last transactions how many hours each one was which employee did it and the employees pay rate what I would like to add to my main form though is an outstanding balance which is simply going to be the sum of all of the hours times the individual employees pay rate so that'll be their running their their total transactions cost basically so let's take care of that I'm gonna go ahead and work with this clients form I'm gonna jump back over to design view and let's draw your attention to this subform down here this subform does have a footer area that I can't see so I'll just drag right down here and I now have a footer area and with this footer area I'll put in a text box just click on my text box control I'll drag it right down here. By the way, I could work on this transaction subform independently over here. Notice that there's a transaction subform created in my objects window. And I can work with this relatively normally. Now, this is going to be a formula that we typed in one of our recent videos um, where it says unbound. I'm going to do an equals, but uh, I want to do a sum. Actually, yeah, that'll be best. So I'll do a sum, little sum function, and within this sum function is going to be the familiar part where I take square brackets and I take the employee wage and I multiply that by transaction hours. Make sure you type those properly. So I'm taking a sum of the employee wage times the transaction hours and that's going in the form footer of my subform. Now I'm not done yet. When I click on this and I go to my property sheet, if you don't have your property sheet open, you can just turn that on. I'm going to give a more descriptive name to this in the property sheet. And I'm going to call this um, total transaction cost because I'll need to refer to that in just a second. So the name of my field here basically is now total transaction cost. Okay, so now I have now I have this calculated control inside of the footer of my subform. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save to save that. There we go. It's got a name, total transaction cost. I'll just hit save again. Now I'm gonna head up over here to my main form and let me uh, make a little room for myself. Just kind of size these down. These don't need to be quite so big. And I will add a text box here. I'll take the label, put it right on top call it balance. I'm going to head over to this currently unbound control and this time I'm going to let access help me out here. I'm going to head over to its control source and I'm going to click on this little ellipsis which is going to open up the expression builder. I'll go to my clients expression elements then transaction subform 
and I'm looking for my total transaction cost. That's the name I gave that calculated control in my subform, total transaction cost. I'm going to double click that. It's going to pop up this basic form right up here. All I have to do is go to the very beginning, type an equal sign, and click OK. It's all it takes. And then when I go back to my form now, check this out. For this particular client, Ralphco, they've had several transactions over the past month or so, and the total balance is $640. So that's what's happening there. And it's my employee ID and my employee wage. Of course, you could customize these in the uh, subform design to make sure that they're, they have the widths that you like. But now I've got that total. And I can go to my other clients and I can see their running totals. Um, let's try one here and let's just kind of uh, see if the numbers seem accurate. This one looks pretty simple to do. So I'll pop open my calculator. And let's see. So we have 5 times 28 and uh, 6 times 28. So that'll be 11 times 28 equals $308. $308. There we go. So that is a subform with a calculation in the main form. All right. So give this a try. Have, you know, be patient with it. Go slow and careful and then you can start to try to add complexity. I think in the future it might be nice. What happens if our balance was a little more accurate? How do we keep track if the client has made a payment or partial payment? They owed $308. What if they paid $300 on February 7th and then they only owed $8 left? That's going to require a little bit of redesigning of some tables, but it's certainly in our realm of ability. So, take care.